Hello everyone, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome back to Food Technology Study Program, Department of Food Science and Technology, Faculty of Agricultural Engineering and Technology, IPB University. My name is Rati Dewanti Hariadi. I am a professor in food microbiology at IPB University. We would like to continue our lectures on ITP 322 Food Safety and Sanitation. Today, we are going to discuss our second materials on chemical and physical hazards. These topics will cover chemical contaminants in foods, source of chemical contaminants, all types of chemical contaminants possibly occur in food, and physical hazards. After completing this lecture, you are expected to be able to describe chemical hazards related to foods, differentiate various chemical hazards and their health consequences, and describe physical hazards. Chemical contaminants in food can be categorized uh, into several groups. The first one is natural toxicants, chemical contaminants from agricultural practices or activities, environmental contaminants, food processing contaminants, migration from packaging materials, allergens, adulterant or illegal additives, as well as excessive use of food additives. Where are they come from? Chemical contaminants in food can originate from raw materials. You know that uh, food from plant origin might be contaminated by environmental pollutants such as heavy metals, pesticides, residues, industrial chemicals, etc. Meanwhile, uh, food from animal origin may also contain residues from animal drugs or veterinary drugs growth-promoting substances, etc. Chemical contaminants may also occur during processing, such as those coming from processing aids, such as filters and cleaning agents, and metals leaching from equipment. Additionally, chemical contaminants might occur during packaging and storage, such as plastic from coatings and tins. Let's start our discussion with natural toxicants. Natural toxicants can be further classified into several groups also. Mycotoxins, scombrotoxin, ciguatoxins, mushroom toxins, and shellfish biotoxin. Mycotoxins are toxins produced by myco or molds. This table shows several important mycotoxins in Indonesia, aflatoxin is probably the most important one. Aflatoxins are produced by Aspergillus flavus and Parasiticus and can be found in peanut, corn, cereal, and nutmeg. Aflatoxin has been reported to cause liver cancer in animal. It's also linked to human liver cancer in conjunction with the presence of hepatitis B viruses. The name B1 and B2, as well as G1 and G2, stands for the color that are produced by the toxin when illuminated with uh, fluorescence or UV light. Ocrotoxin is also common in cereal and produced by Aspergillus ochroceus, and patulin is the toxin produced by the penicillium groups, while zearalenon, pumonisins, and tricotsins are produced by fusarium. You can read the food that are commonly uh, reported to contain this mycotoxin, as well as the illnesses that can be uh, produced by these toxins. The other natural toxicants are originated from plants. Goitrogen, for example, is found in cabbage, broccoli, and mustard. It has been reported to inhibit the absorption of iodine, thus cause iodine deficiency in human. Amatoxin and pelotoxins are produced by Amanita, uh, the genesis of mushroom. It causes stomach ache, thirst, nausea, vomiting, etc. There are also other chemicals uh, found in potatoes such as solanin, jenkolic acid in jenkol, 
and cyanogenic glucoside in cassava. Other natural toxins, is called biotoxins, can be found in fish and shellfish. These toxins are generally produced by the symbion or microorganism that grow on the fish or shellfish. For example, tetrodotoxin commonly found in pufferfish, mahi-mahi, porcupine, and ikan buntal. These toxins actually produced by the symbion bacteria Pseudoarthromonas and cause a blocking of the sodium transfer. This toxin is very toxic, have a little dose 50 of 334 milligrams per kilogram of body weight. That means it takes 334 milligram per kilogram body weight to kill half of the population of tested animal. The other toxins found in fish and shellfish are paralytic shellfish poisoning. This is caused by sexitoxin, a neurotoxin produced by dinoflagellate alexandrium, and it is found in bivalve mollusks such as mussel, scallop, oyster, and clam. Amnesic shellfish poisoning is caused by domoic acid by diatoms pseudonitsia. It is also found in several shellfish and it causes nausea, vomiting, coma up till death. Diuretic shellfish poisoning is caused by ocadaic acid produced by microalgae dinophysis and is found in bivalve mollusks and causing nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and fever. Other chemical hazards may come from the activities of agriculture, such as pesticides, fertilizers, veterinary drugs, and growth hormones. Other chemical hazards can come from the use of pesticides. As we all know, the pesticide is commonly used for food production or during storage, and also are used for control for diseases such as malaria and dengue fever. There are three types of uh, pesticides. Organophosphorus insecticides is uh, used uh, because it can inhibit acetylcholine esterases. The health effect that can be coming from this pesticide is lacrimation, pupil constriction, convulsion, respiratory failure, and coma. However, these organophosphorus insecticides are readily degraded in environment. The second pesticide is from the group of carbamates. These groups usually have a low acute toxicity and readily degraded in the environment. The organochlorine insecticides are generally more persistent in the environment and they are neurotoxic and can be accumulated in food chain. Some of these organochlorine insecticides has been banned from use in European Union. The following are the names of several pesticides used in uh, agriculture activity. As you can see here, there are groups in the very left column and then the types. And TDI, or the measurement of toxicity, which is a tolerable daily intake. And then LD50, that is the dose that can kill half of the population tested. So as you can see here, when the TDI is low, so the LD50 is generally low too. When TDI is high, the little dose needed to kill 50% of the population is also high. Other chemicals commonly used in uh, agriculture practices is nitrates. Nitrates are commonly used as fertilizer although it can also come from the microbial fixation of uh, atmospheric nitrogen. The hazardous form of nitrates is nitrates. Nitrites can be formed in situ in food and also in the body after ingestion of nitrates due to the work of oral and intestinal bacteria. Nitrites can oxidize hemoglobin to form methemoglobin and react with secondary amine to form nitrosamine, which are carcinogenic in experimental animals.
We also learn that certain vegetable tend to accumulate nitrates, lettuce, spinach, etc. Other chemicals used in the farm are antibiotics and growth hormones. Antibiotics such as sulfonamide has been used to control pneumonia and coccidia in farm animals, while penicillin has been used to control mastitic cattle. The use of antibiotic may cause emerging of the antibiotic resistant microorganisms in both animal and human that affect microbiota in the intestine. Meanwhile, several growth hormone has been used, uh, for example, to induce redistribution of fat in animal tissues. Some of those has been banned in the EU. Control of the use of both antibiotics and growth hormone is done according to the good agricultural practices to produce animals with acceptable residues below maximum residue limit or MRL. Chemical contaminants in food can also originate from environmental pollutants. Several organic and inorganic compounds from industrial waste and or emission, domestic waste, mining activities, and volcano eruption can cause this contamination. The following are chemicals uh, fall into these categories, dioxins, heavy metals, and aromatic hydrocarbon including benzene, and polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbon. Dioxin is a group of hazardous chemicals belonging to CDD, chlorinated dibenzoparadioxins, CDF, as well as PCB. Of the dioxins known, PCDD is the most toxic. These chemicals are chlorinated hydrocarbons formed at high temperature, such as during incineration, it is highly toxic and it has been proven to cause liver damage, teratogenic immune suppression, and increase tumor incidence in animal. In man, this chemical has been found to cause liver damage as well as uh, dysfunction of nerve system. Dioxin has been found in several food products such as seafoods, dairy, meat products, and vegetables. Heavy metals are also uh, environmental pollutants. There are several uh, important heavy metals that has caused several uh, incidents of uh, food poisoning. Mercury uh, can be in the form of organic and inorganic. The organic mercury are generally more toxic. It targeted the central nervous system and has been found in seafoods and fish. The PTWI, or Provisional Tolerable Weekly Intake, or the dose that can be tolerated by people uh, in a week, is 4 microgram per kilogram body weight. Lead is also important uh, heavy metals. It can be uh, originated from lead-glazed earthenware, thin lead solders, water pipes, and leaded gasoline. Lead has been found in fruit and vegetables, and it causes uh, dysfunction in uh, central and peripheral nervous system. Cadmium uh, usually come from the industrial use. It is widely distributed in the environment and can be found in liver, kidney, and milk. The PTMI, or Provisional Tolerable Monthly Intake, is 25 microgram per kilogram body weight per month. Arson can be found in both organic and inorganic. The inorganic arson is more toxic than uh, the organic ones. The component has been found in rice, fish and surface, and has been uh, associated with several forms of cancer. The next chemicals that can become a contaminants in foods are those chemicals migrating from packaging materials or it's called migrants. Migrants can be a monomer coming from the polymer plastic or plasticizer used to plasticize the plastic or additives such as the whitener, uh, for example, 
uh, butadiene, rubber, and styrofoam. The total amount of migrant can be measured uh, using simple techniques such as graphometry or as a specific migrant using gas chromatography. We all know that liquid food are more in close contact with plastic packaging than solid food and migration occurs at high temperatures. This table shows you several chemicals that migrated from packaging materials. A styrene as the monomer, phenyl chloride, these are monomer also, and diethyl hexyl phthalate, which is a plasticizer in uh, polyphenyl chlorides. The next chemical contaminants are food processing contaminants or sometimes called as emerging chemical contaminants. Chemical contaminants falling into this category are those formed during high temperature processing such as frying, baking, grilling in fire, smoking, etc. that employs temperatures above 100 degrees Celsius. These are the components falling into this category, PAH, heterocyclic amine, chloropropanol, etc. And in the next slides are two food processing contaminants recently found. The first one is acrylamide from in French fries, potato chips, bread. That is probable carcinogens. And MCPD as well as MCPD ester that is formed uh, following a reaction between uh, sodium chloride salts and glycerol at high temperature. This chemical is carcinogenic in red and is found in uh, soy sauce for, for MCPD and palm oil for MCPDE. Next chemical contaminants are food allergens. Food allergens are food components, usually proteins, glycoproteins, or polypeptides that could trigger allergic reaction. Food allergy is abnormal reactions of the immune system to food or food products. Most food allergy occurs in infants or children, and lower percentage is found in adults. There are commodities that accounted for 90% of the allergy, those are milk, egg, peanut, seafood, tree nuts, shellfish, soybean, and wheat. Allergic reaction can be manifested in several symptoms. The first one is the skin symptoms, generally itching, uh, urticaria, and eczema. Respiratory symptoms, itching, uh, tearing, as well as shortness of, of breath and cough. And gastrointestinal symptoms uh, include nausea, vomiting, abdominal cramps, and diarrhea. And the worst is the systemic symptoms, or is called anaphylactic shock, that cause hypotension and shock, and then followed by death. There are also several controversial symptoms associated with food allergy, such as arthritis, migraine, glue ear, and irritable bowel syndrome. Other problems with chemical hazard caused by excessive use in food additives. Food additives, especially those with the numeric ADI or acceptable daily intake, can be source of hazard when they are used in excess of the regulation. Food additives commonly fall into this category are colorants, sweeteners, preservatives, antioxidants, and emulsifier. In Indonesia, the use of food additives is regulated by Peraturan Badan POM number 11, 2019, with reference to codex. Some additive that has no specified ADI are usually less of a food safety problem. The table shows us several natural and synthetic colorants with the different ADI values. Other problems that may occur with the chemical hazard are the use of chemicals 
not allowed to be used in food but somehow it is applied in food. In Indonesia, we know uh, that boric acid or borax has been long uh, commonly used traditionally in the making of meatball, wet noodle, and rice cake. Formalin sometimes is also found to be used in meatball, uh, wet noodle, and tofu, while this colorant, rhodamine B and methanol yellow, are still found in chips, crackers, and several street foods. Now, this sum up our chemical hazard. Physical hazard. Physical hazard can be found as a pieces of glass, woods, stones, metals, or insects. The general injury potentials are cuts, bleeding, uh, choking, uh, broken teeth, and they may require surgery to find or to remove. The very right uh, column shows the sources of this physical hazard. Lastly, these are also physical hazards that originate from insulation, can be in the form of bone, plastic, and personal effects or jewelry. Okay, before I finish up this material, please don't forget that you will have group presentation assignment number one for next week. See details in the assignment section of your LMS and you must upload uh, your presentation at the latest 24 hours before our next meeting. Thank you. See you next time. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.